Hi folks, Dave here. This video is just going to be a quick run through of some recent deliveries I've uh, taken possession of. A lot of stuff I've been buying recently, either because it looked interesting and was going relatively cheap, or as a result of recommendations from some of the other film soundtrack people online, Ian, Birdman, Eric, you know who you are. Um, either things I've not been familiar with or things that I was perfectly well familiar with and just had never got around to buying but suddenly everybody's saying great recommendations why are these not in your collection you need to have them so on that basis just run through everything that I've got um, four pieces of vinyl to start with um, The Wicked Lady by Tony Banks it's been my first Tony Banks soundtrack. I listened to some clips from it on uh, Discogs where they were linking to some YouTube videos. It sounded quite nice. It was only a fiver, so I thought I'd give that a go. Uh, similarly, Alex North's The Shoes of the Fisherman. This was also only about a fiver. As was a mono LP version of John Williams is not with my wife, you don't. I mean, I've already got that on CD. Um, one of those FSM twofers with something else. What was it? George Dunning or, an, or yeah, something like that. Um, and then Eric Woods was talking about three never re released on CD, must have Miklos Roja. Um, albums on LP. Uh, I had already got two of those, I was well familiar with them, but I didn't know about this one, which was the third one, so I've now snaffled myself a copy of that. Then, moving on to CD, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Tangerine Dream Strange Behaviour. Uh, it's okay, it's not one of their best, I must admit. Um, Alien Nation, uh, which has got, this is where Goldsmith was signed on to do the score, uh, there was a lot of mucking about with the production of the film, um, and he either wasn't able to commit to rewrites, or just got fed up with it, or was too busy elsewhere, and so they threw his score out. And got a replacement at the last minute by a chap called Kurt Sobel. Um, so both of them are on this disc from Quitzeland. Sobel's is fine. Um, Goldsmith's is slightly better, but they're both worth listening to. Uh, there was that. Adio Zio Tom. Uh, by all accounts, I have never seen the film. I'm not sure I ever want to. But the uh, the song "Oh My Love" is quite well known and very beautiful. Uh, and as Riz Ortolani tended to do for things like Cannibal Holocaust, it's it's a much nicer, lovelier score than the film perhaps warrants. Um, Ian was doing on one of his scores that I've only got one of by any particular composer. Uh, it mentions George Fenton's Memphis Bell. Now I've got several George Fenton's, but Memphis Bell was one of the ones that I hadn't got. Uh, and when he mentioned it, it did remind me of the fact that when I worked in the cinema, we showed that and we had, I think, the local Veterans Society got them to come and do a display of all sorts of memorabilia. So that was quite um, sort of nostalgic. So I don't know why I didn't have that. So I have now. Um, this is non-film music, but it's kind of film adjacent. It's some viola music, including a viola concerto by Paul Chihara. Um, I have listened to that. That's rather nice. Um, I do like a bit of sort of string music. Uh, then we have a tufa um, by Philippe Saad, which is Barocco and... Les Sœurs Bronte, or the Bronte Sisters. 
Um, because pretty salt is always worth hearing. Then what have we got? We've got some goldsmith to help fill out my goldsmith collection. Is mom and dad save the world? Um, almost all of these were like fairly cheap, at like a fiver or something like that each. Um, thought I'd have a go at Jed Kurzel's version of Macbeth. I have no idea what that's like. Um, likewise, Harry Gregson Williams is Sinbad. Um, I'm sure I must have heard a recommendation from somebody about that. Um, can't remember who. Soylent Green. I've kind of wondered about that for donkey's years. Um, finally decided to push the boat out and give it a go. That's by Fred Myro. I'm guessing on the pronunciation of that. Uh, and it's got a Jerry Fielding with it as Demon Seed. Then, um, this is Birdman and, uh, and, and Eric's recommendations. Everybody, really. Um, I've not historically been very good at compilate well compilations, especially if it's compilations of things that I already own the originals of. Um, but there's John Williams and Boston Pops recordings, and there's Eric Kunzel and Cincinnati uh, Pops, and Zubin Meta and the Los Angeles Phil, and so on and so forth. Um, so I've been getting some of those just to fill out. So there was. JW and Boston out of this world, which is all sorts of spacey music. Uh, Strauss is 2000 uh, or Strauss is also Sprach as used in 2001. Uh, ET and uh, Return of the Jedi by Williams himself, and Star Trek and Alien and Twilight Zone and stuff like that. And, and this one is Zubin Mehta uh, and the LA Phil. That's music from Close Encounters and from Star Wars. And then that's Kunzel and Cincinnati Pops. And that's all sorts of just generic bits and bobs of everything, really. Um, yeah. Danny Elfman, Bernard Herman, Leif Stevens, John Barry, Jerry Goldsmith, Bruce Broughton, Lee Holdridge. Don't know who Paul Frick, oh, sound effects, okay. Alex North, more Goldsmith, more Broughton, John Williams, Craig Sefang. That should be entertaining. Um, and then, I am a big fan of Chandos discs. Um, I might do a video of um, of my collection of those, which is maybe 15 or 20 or so mostly film pieces, but then also some classical stuff by film-like composers. I've got a few... Um, concert works by gold um by called gold um but eric pointed out that of the three volumes of rayford williams music that they've done of which i already had one they've got a dirt cheap box set of all three together for about a fiver and i thought well even if it's a box set of only two because you've already got one that's still worth having it's a good bargain so I bought that so that's the box set of three of those and when you order it off their website which again as I say was about a fiver there's an offer for a free sampler disc so I ordered the free sampler disc it's only about 20 minutes of stuff but yeah it's 20 minutes of free music Berg, Schubert, Ruth Gipps and someone called Alberto Hemsey who of whom I've not heard but uh, those would keep me going for a while won't they um until next time, which will probably be this afternoon when the postman brings me some more shit. Stay fresh, cheese bags.